Hello, my friends. We meet once again. Welcome to another edition of Whining with the Ryback. I am the Ryback. And today, guys, Whining with the Ryback is brought to you by a very, very special wine. It is the unofficial official wine of this of this segment from now on. My friend Gary Vaynerchuk, Empathy Wine. On the back, it says, Empathy for the farmer, empathy for you. And most importantly, guys, empathy for the lost poor souls who viciously spread hate and negativity through social media, and in particular, here on YouTube, and in particular, towards me, the Ryback. These people are suffering from a lot of pain, a lot of misfortune, they, bad parenting, and things that we just can't quite always understand or figure out. My God, look at that chest. Big guy, everything. <sighs> Back to the people. We got to care about the people. Not my chest, not my tits. <sighs> These people are hurting, though, and they're... They're seeking attention. A lot of them apparently don't like me, but they somehow find me and then leave the mean negative comments. We're going to dive right in. We got some mean comments tonight, guys. We have some real mean comments as I sit and I stare at my tree of peace painting. A beautiful painting, the tree of peace. Peace and love is what I strive for. But the power of the Hulk has been put inside this big guy body. And it's hard to control sometimes. I do my best. I do my best. I do my best. Sometimes I just want to meet Hook and shell shock a bitch. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and open up the old IG. We have a we'll try to go through these tonight, guys. Get some mean comments. I hope everyone's doing good. Thank you guys for subscribing, sharing the channel on our quest to a million subscribers. Yeah, I just looked at my forums on camera. I don't care. But the Empathy Wines, guys, by Gary Vaynerchuk. This is a 2018 California red wine, and it is now the unofficial official wine of whining with the Ryback. Because the name, we're not going to get any better than this, guys. And I love the gay. I love everything Gary does, and I'm going to work with him someday. I'm going to hire his team, and I'm going to put out a lot of content that's going to piss a lot more people off. But most importantly, inspire and motivate a hell of a lot more people. <clears throat> and when Feed Me More Nutrition is to the point where I can afford those hero videos through Feed Me More Nutrition solely without using my money, I'm going to be on the Gary V team. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive right in. Steven uh, Chavarez writes, dude, let me keep it 100, my man. Thanks for keeping it 100. This is coming from someone who lives in Camden, New Jersey. Once considered the most dangerous city in America, I think you met America. Here's just, guys... I don't know why this is a common thing, but it is. If you're going to bla try to blast somebody or leave a negative, hateful thing, invest in an editing app. I think it's Blue E Angel. E Angel is a good one. You can get a very cheap plan for like $10, $15 a month. You send your message right through it, they'll clean it up for you guys. Then you go ahead and put that shit out. Because it's a very common thing with the misspelling. When you try to insult someone, and it really it just takes away from the messages, the, the, the impact of the message. You wanted to say once considered the most dangerous city in America, but you put once considered the most dangerous city in America. So like, I already know you're a dumb shit. And I don't, and I say that kindly. There's, like, there's nothing wrong with misspelling words. People make mistakes all the time. But if you're going to do this, this is the one time where you really want your spelling to be on point, guys. God. 
Hold on, this is, there's much more. Two minutes from Philly. Okay. Cool. The YouTube shit ain't working, man. Go back to wrestling. You'll make more money, bro. Oh, will I, huh? Will I? What do you think I'm going to make when I'm able to go back to wrestling when my body is completely healed, which unfortunately you don't, you aren't aware of apparently, and you think that I just left wrestling just to leave wrestling in my prime, which I'm now healthier than I was in my prime. <clears throat> What do you think is going to happen when I go back to wrestling and feed me more nutrition, which is already profitable to a very good degree? Conversation with the big guy Ryback, profitable to a good degree. What do you think is going to happen to those two things when I go back to wrestling? Wait, my YouTube, which probably makes more money per month, and this is just than you probably make all month, Steven Chaveras, which isn't a good or bad thing. And it's But when you understand the, the entrepreneur mindset and creating as many revenue streams as possible you get a good idea what i'm doing you understand my mindset what i'm doing i don't just do youtube videos i just started this four or four and a half months ago in addition to everything else that i do steven chavera is on youtube everybody give him a follow subscribe he needs it he probably doesn't have any subscribers Love and peace, my friend. Bacani Bellini is a picture of a lion. Since you left WWE, you have become useless. Oh, it's mean. You make videos of you eating hot pepper. Again, it would be hot peppers if you're going to, you know, Go back to WWE, no, no, go should be capitalized since the first word since wasn't capitalized either. This is E-Angel, guys, for all my haters, please, just $5, 10 $15 a month. Before you send me hateful messages, just shoot it over to E-Angel, let them edit the hell out of it for you, and then go ahead and send it to me, okay? Can we at least have that, guys? God. Go back to WWE and beg them to return. You make no sense now. Never makes sense. Do what you do best, which is wrestling, than swearing on hot paper videos. Did you guys see my Instagram post today about the Popeye's chicken and the little character on there? Like in 20 years, what's going to happen to us? If we eat the Popeye's chicken. If not, go my Instagram, the big guy right back 22 guys, and go check it out. And this this whole thing will be a lot funnier. Thank you, Bacani. Much love. RR. Ooh, Green Dragon DMX. Ooh. Every Ryback video. Should feature on, God, this damn spelling errors. Should feature on Botchamania because, quote, you talk too much. I said, I is not capitalized. You talk too much. Oh, man, he never shuts up. Green Dragon DMX. You click on a free channel. And subject yourself to a guy who just keeps talking. Let's really think about this, my friend. You stop everything you're doing in your day or you just go about your day. You go on YouTube. You click on Ryback TV. You clearly know I talk. Yet you click on my videos. You continue to click on my videos and you watch. This is really odd. Green Dragon DMX. Again, this goes back to like the kind of people that like bash gay people, but then they themselves are, you know, it's weird. It's so weird. So weird. Why? I love you, Green Dragon. Thank you for watching. I don't. Just be nice. Be happy, my friend. Find happiness. Love and happiness. Here. 
Oh, Green Dragon. Billy. Does that help? Does that make your day better, Green Dragon? Did you chuckle? Huh? Did you chuckle from the big little chuckle from the big guy, huh? <laughs> Silly little Billy. Moving on. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, these are mean. Shonice Official Channel. Ryback TV, do a steroid inject. Ryback TV, do a steroid injection challenge, water boy. It's never the water boy. I played football all four years in high school. I actually got moved to varsity my freshman year for the, they got, they went to the playoffs. They actually won state that year. I didn't go because me and one other guy, they picked off the team. We realized they brought us up there to get the shit beaten out of us with the varsity players. And I had baseball season coming up and I said, I'm not stupid. And I didn't do it. But I was the starting kicker, halfback, fullback, moved around, tight end, middle linebacker, and the kicker for the team. Played always. Never was the water boy. But I don't know why you'd want to see me do a steroid injection. I mean, look at these natural muscles. Oh, it's coming in, Billy. I don't know why I'm calling everyone Billy tonight. That's the name of the night. Oh, he has two comments. Oh, he's double mean. Ryback TV, no one does this stunt anymore. Sheeple. I think he meant to say people. Shoney's might be a little, little tipsy. We'll give you a pass on that one, bud. Um, Poopy Pants commented, nice profile picture um, on my, my McRib video. Mega douche face. Hold on, I got to do it justice. It's all kept. Mega douche face. So weird. The anger and the hate that people have, guys. Uh, Mark S. Very fitting name. <laughs> Watch you chew for 14 minutes like a slob before you say a word about the food you're reviewing. The McRib is effing fucking delicious, by the way. I'm not going to argue. If you think the McRib is delicious, I'm very happy that you enjoyed it and liked it. I wanted to like it. It wasn't that good, the ones that I got. Like, I can't like make it like taste good if it wasn't good. And I still, I was, I enjoyed, I ate all of them. I finished it. Wasn't a little bee, a little bitch, you know? But I mean, you clicked on my free channel and you watched me chew for 14 minutes. Like a slob. I'm a 300 pound Neanderthal living in modern times. Trying to just do my best to fit in. I don't belong. I don't. I'm not politically correct. I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. I, do, I try to spread love and happiness. I don't like mean people. I want to throw people down a pit of spikes. If I ruled the world, all bad people would be gone. I don't clearly fit in with what's going on today. I'm okay just stating how I feel because I'm very confident through my readings and listening through the different audiobooks and my life experience that I feel I have very good intentions and want the best, ultimately want the best for everybody. But, and I'm not worried about offending certain groups of people because you're always going to offend groups of people, clearly. <sighs> empathy. Practice empathy. I'm no Tony Robbins, guys. I'm a little bit of a little bit of a blend of a little bit of a blend of Tony, Gary, Dean Graziosi, a lot of guys. And I'm a big 300 pound wrestler with very Hulk like qualities. Neanderthal, look at, I was born with a forehead of a caveman. People like to scream all these nasty, mean things at me. Just doing my best. Uh, okay, okay, we're getting really mean. Striker 204, it's S-T-R-Y-K-E-R 204, just for anyone wondering. You couldn't make it in WWE. I don't think you have a place to rate AEW, L-M-A-O. I talk very good about AEW. I just talk what I think about it and certain things that I like and certain things I think they can improve on. I like AEW though. 
I also achieved the highest level of professional wrestling. I main evented for a good portion of my career and was very successful at it, mind you, numbers and merchandise wise. And everything out of that else outside of that was out of my control. I routinely had the strongest reactions on live events that I was a part of, or in the upper echelon of those, regardless of my booking on TV, which is the name of the game in pro wrestling. And I walked away for multiple reasons, which I've discussed relentlessly. We won't put everyone through that again here, but striker 204, I wish you nothing but the best. And hopefully you could find, um, the peace and happiness that, that you deserve, my friend. Brad Moulton, watching the big guy be a sissy classic? I don't. I don't know what that re is in reference to, so, I mean, could be a lot of things. Um, uh, Mr. R commented, who watchers people eat? Wow. He meant to put who watch who watches people eat. Wow. Well, Mr. R, you stopped and clicked on the video and then commented on it. So again, this is kind of like the person like who sucks cock and then you're blah, blah, blah. maybe that was a bit extreme, but that, I feel like a lot of people laughed at that. That's Mr. R. My God, what the hell's going on? What? Do people go on YouTube? I'm like, I, I know I have a lot of YouTube experience. Do people come on here just like completely wasted and on drugs? Uh, Kenneth Verkist. <laughs> this is funny. I bet she calls you Big Chief Little Meat. Said she never had so much on top of her and so little in her. Well, that's that's just not true, Kenneth. Phoenix is a Phoenix is an angel. She's a very good person. So. I am, uh, is, I could say a lot of things on this one, but those words have never been spoken. I can assure you of that. Moving on. Jo John Snipe. Ryback just wasn't a good wrestler. Love the podcast, though. But in ring, he was sloppy and botched moves. It would be botched, botched moves if you were trying to insult me. Just again. So I can count on my hand throughout my entire career the times that I would consider botches. Just so everyone knows. And for being a power wrestler and doing power moves each and every night and catching guys out of the air and doing... Things that guys don't chance doing, I was, uh, my percentages were very, very high. But the Tenzai one, which was completely my fault, and we'd done it more than enough times, and I, I was, could make any excuse in the book, I was, I had pneumonia, I was fucked up, and, but I went out there and tried my best, and, uh, I just, I just wasn't, uh, my best that night, and, uh, hooked the move wrong on Tenzai, the shell shock. Paul Heyman on a live event in Hartford, Connecticut is one that bothers me uh, probably the most because I was completely fine. And uh, I actually wanted to pick Paul up different, but I ended up trying to pick him up the old way that I was doing, which was really hard. It, the shell shock, if you watch early in my career, I used to pick guys up and duck my head under them. What was happening though, when guys are heavy, it was jacking up my neck doing that and having to crank guys up like, and it was, try picking up a weight, this part right here, there's nothing, like it was just sheer strength getting guys over. And it was, it was just wreaking havoc on my body doing it every night. That's why I eventually started picking guys up from the side. And uh, which is again, an other awkward, stupid way to pick people up. But I like showing real strength because it's the one real part of wrestling. And what not. And then uh, there was, I think one time early on in my career, uh, I was wrestling Jack Swagger and I went to throw a knee in my gimmick left ankle. That's my one that I'm actually doing all the nerve stuff on now to regenerate my nerves and uh, hopefully regain that embed in my big foot. Um, my foot just, I slipped 
throwing a knee and uh, fell down and popped right back up. I would consider that a botch as far as just throwing a strike and falling. Um, so there's three. And uh, I think there was a match with Chris Jericho where he was in the corner and I went to go sprint at him and my foot, my boot slipped in the ring and I like fell and popped up and kept going and we nothing was we didn't miss anything um and that's four that i would consider and i'll say there was one other one i think it was a dark live with the shield i caught seth rollins jumping off the top rope and across body and again the gimmick foot kind of gave out on me and we kind of fell but i didn't let him go and i popped right up and held him the whole time and uh nobody really knew any different it actually made the move look more impressive but i'll count that as a botch so five there um one more. I have a very good memory. Six with Big Show on a live event in uh, not Atlantic City, Wildwood. I went to pick him up in Wildwood for the shell shock, and we mistimed it, and we went up and came down, and we just like go whoop, boom right back up and got him up. So I'll go six botches um, for how many ever matches I had total in my career in WWE. And, uh, and ultimately, though, and then like the Paul Heyman one, we got the Tenzai one. We went to another. I meat hooked him. I would say the Tenzai Heyman ones are the two, two, bo two real botches. The rest are honorable mentions. But if you want to say six out of, out of thousands and thousands and thousands of power moves, more power to you, my friend. So pretty good track record. Don't believe the people, the Meltzers and the people that have an agenda that make money and uh, listening to people that were politically trying to do damage throughout all of it. So, <laughs> Michael Mangino, your right shoulder is actually bigger than your left shoulder. Man, you talk a lot. Thank you for subscribing. Moving on. Uh, a mukbang is not one burger clickbait Dells that's your fault fix it if it's not a mukbang don't put it in the title I guess I don't know I'm not also I'm not like really well versed on all this sorry dropkick fetus for putting mukbang in the title if it wasn't in there and clickbaiting you buddy we're not trying to deceive anybody uh, Todd H writes, test boosters don't work. Come on, man. All right, Todd, here's the challenge. I want you to buy a bottle of my shell, uh, big guy testosterone booster. And I want you, I want you to, you know what, Todd? No, we're not going to have you buy it because that's, that's not, that's not fair. What I need you to do, Todd, is email me to my website and go on the web. This takes a little bit of work because I'm not going to put it on here so we don't get a million emails. And email me, Todd H. What we're going to do is give you two bottles of the Big Guy Testosterone Booster. I'm the Big Guy. And all I ask that you do is get blood work before and then your final week on the Big Guy Testosterone Booster. And we will let your results and the numbers, and I will read them right here on the show regardless, Todd, because I've seen enough evidence, not only with myself, but countless people who... Their natural testosterone levels go up significantly on my The Big Guy Testosterone Booster. There it is, Todd. Balls in your court. Not me bullshitting, not me trying to sell a product. I'll give you two fucking bottles, my friend, and we'll see how it works. Deal? Psycho said fist bump. Okay. Uh, John Doe. Just a J logo. Keep whining about WWE. You signed a contract allowing them the gimmick they created. John, they did not create the gimmick. I created Ryback, Feed Me More, and The Big Guy. All of that was my creation. This has been discussed, buddy. I own it all. I wouldn't own it all if I didn't create it. John has WWE on a pedestal and jerks off to the divas nonstop. I know his life. Already. Like It's just... It's always the same thing. The fact that anyone knows who you are is because of them. The fact that anyone knows who I am is because I look like a 300-pound killer, John. And WWE capitalized on that at various points, and people recognize me from my work and my effort. And WWE, I was on their platform, and they provided the platform. 
So, and they made a lot of money on me, John Doe. So, a lot more than I got. I could promise you that. And then he ends up with mid-card. I definitely was a mid-card wrestler at points. I was also a main event wrestler at points. If you look at the current WWE roster, everyone plays mid-card and main event. Like, not main event, not everyone plays main event roles. A lot of guys toggle between low-card and mid-card. And some guys do main event for a bit. Like, it's... Like, if you look at my, me, my track record, wins and losses overall, especially against today's talent, like, it was exceptional based off of that fake world, John. So, like, how does that, you know, just think about that, John. Does that really screw with your world a little bit? We won't know. You'll have no way of contacting me, my friend. And moving on, guys. Final message. Monty Lois. I don't know what this is in reference to. Too much of you selling yourself and products. Just be you. This was a recent one, I believe. Monty, I think, clicked on the title, um, Finish It BCAA, Feed Me More Nutrition, the live video, where I'll do those usually once a week or once every other week, um, promoting my Feed Me More Nutrition, specifically aimed at promoting my Feed Me More Nutrition line, Monty. So if you just click on my other videos, there will be a lot less selling, Monty, but I try to have a little bit of everything on my channel. And my supplement line is a major thing that I'm doing. And there has to be some promotion. And I believe in it. I use it religiously. I, I, I honestly fucking believe anyone who uses Feed Me More Nutrition is going to benefit their lives. I This stuff has helped me tremendously. I'm not your typical bullshitter. Like, I'm, I'm not. I can't do it. I don't have it in me. So. I wish you the best, though, Monty. Check out my other videos. Also check out my podcast, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms and here on Ryback TV. <laughs> that one was for you, Monty, you son of a bitch. Ugh, excuse me. Sympathy. Wine makes me feel a lot of empathy. Well, there you have it, guys. Just remember, there's a lot of people out there that, that are unhappy and going through a lot and Gary says it best. There's in order to to leave a hateful negative comment, you got to really be in a bad place. People that are doing good, people that are that are that are quote unquote successful or or giving it their all, and they um, they just don't they don't take the time to do it. And that's all that I want out of this. I just want people to realize like it's natural that we're going to see things on so because we're not meant to be seeing the amount of stuff that we're seeing. When you think about real life, guys, and like you can control kind of what you see, and, and we all have opinions on everything, but the, with the social media shit, it puts way too much stuff in, in, in our brains, and it, it, it distracts us. And all this stuff is, guys, is distractions. And that's another thing that I want. I have a business. Uh, my goal is to gain, it, with Feed Me More Nutrition and Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback, a certain level of power and freedom to be able to do even more good in this world and be able to have more control that way when I go back to wrestling eventually and whatnot. But I do these videos and the reason why I talk so much is I don't want to just be entertaining. I want people to learn something because I'm constantly reading and trying to listening to books and processing information. And I want us all, I want everybody to learn. That's the only way, the way the world is going, it's very scary and very dangerous government politics all that it's all fucking bullshit there's so much bullshit going on guys all across the board we have to educate ourselves as much as possible and there's so many people not educating themselves and this stuff is here to distract you it's here to distract me it's here to distract all of us that's all i want you to be aware of and so for me if i can get some fucking points across through my stuff, it's not just me eating a cheeseburger to get some money on YouTube. Watch the videos. There's a reason why I do each and every video. And yeah, it's to raise awareness for Feed Me More Nutrition in my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback. But I want us to be fucking aware. Because we need more of us to be aware. Because it is, it, like I said, it's very scary where we're going. So. With that, guys.
practicing empathy is a is a thing and, and having sympathy for people and oh look at that whole bottle of scott thanks gary the um When people leave, we all experience it at different levels. When people leave negative, hateful comments, um, practice trying to feel sorry for them. It, it takes practice. And I could tell you from firsthand experience how angry I used to get over things and how it doesn't bother me nearly as much anymore now because I truly understand that, that the people, what they're going through, and I've had to practice feeling empathy for them and feeling sorry for them. And it wasn't easy. I'll be the first one to admit it. My first instinct is to throw them down a pit of spikes. And I've talked about that relentlessly. It's a lot harder to practice empathy and sympathy, but the more you do it, the better it gets. And then it's easier to see when you see people how much they're struggling and what they're going through. So that is uh, my message for the night, guys. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. You've just watched another edition of Whining with the Ryback. Have a good day. I don't know why the hell I can't close these out. Like I, everything else I do, I'm like, get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more. I kind of have my go-to close with these ones. I don't because I'm trying to, I don't want, I'm not trying to be intense on this. And I don't have good closes on these videos. The finger point's always my go-to and it just, it's awkward. Just keep the camera going, Dells. We're just going to. Happy thoughts. Until next time, guys. This sucks. <laughs> hey, guys. It's the big guy, Ryback. And I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and punch that like. Smash that subscribe button. And check out my all-natural my all natural supplement line. Supplement. Supplement. Stupid. My all-natural supplement line. Feed me more nutrition available on Amazon and feedmemore.com. And as always, conversation with the big guy Ryback available on all podcast platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available. Never forget, feed me more. Thank you for tuning in to this segment of Ryback's Conversation with the Big Guy. Watch full episodes here on YouTube. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button if you had a great time watching. And for all supplements, check out feedmemore.com.